Um, I'm kind of amazed by this. Ms. Donaldson, can I just ask you about another ethics issue at the Department of Energy? I'm so glad you're here, by the way. Thank you for being here, and thank you for, for doing this job. The Wall Street Journal published back in February a report. I'm just going to quote the headline. Here it is. Hundreds of Energy Department officials hold stocks related to agencies' work despite warnings. Have you been tracking this? Have you seen these reports? I have, Senator. So that includes, sadly, the, the Secretary of Energy, who testified right there to this committee in response to questions from me that she didn't own any individual stocks. I asked her three times in April, do you own individual stocks? Three times. She said, no, absolutely not, absolutely not, absolutely not. Two months later, she wrote the chairman and said, actually, I did. And she didn't divest of them until May, and then she didn't tell us until a month later. Ah, uh, that's a big problem. And the fact that she misled this committee and didn't tell us, the fact that we have all of these Energy Department officials holding stocks related to the agency's work, I mean, what is going on at DOE? Do you have authority to look into this, Ms. Donaldson? Well, there's a mechanism set up in the law, which you and have please, you, please use your in, microphone, Ms. Donaldson, please. Just speak into it, if you would. Oh, we maybe just hear you yeah, pull a little closer. So, um, you can, in fact, hold stock and be an employee for the government. You cannot participate in any decisions that might impact the value of that stock. Um, so there's different rules that apply here, and those are can be driven by Congress or they can be driven by regulation or policy. Um, in that particular situation, um, when you spoke about your questions about other DOE employees, right. they get notices reminding them, basically. So if they own stock in Ford, they'll get a notice saying, don't forget, nothing having to do with Ford. Yeah. So those notices don't carry with them any kind of penalty. It's part of the process set up to make sure they mm. keep track of their own, what you would view to be a conflict mm. or a okay. potential conflict. Well, my time has expired. I, I just thank you for your work, Ms. Donaldson. I'm going to send you a letter about this and, and hope that, that uh, we might ask you to look into the, and I know the ranking members already asked you to look into Secretary Grant Holmes' testimony before this committee, but I am firmly of the view that we need to change the law here. Mm -hmm. Senior executive branch officials should not be able to own individual stock, nor should members of Congress. We shouldn't be stock trading, and nor should anybody who is sitting at this table. And so I, I just am distressed by the, the, it just piles up, and I'll just say this isn't a partisan issue. It's, it happened in the last administration. It's members of both parties of Congress. We shouldn't be doing it. I've got bipartisan legislation that would end this, and I think we need to end this practice once and for all.